but you're not. But what is up, everybody? It is Friday. You know what that means. It's another edition of Curveballs and Sheriff Shots. My name is Brandon Tangoba, and once again, 735 miles away from me. Thank fucking God. Is my lovely and esteemed co-host Dominic Hobson. Dominic, how are you doing on this fine Friday? Welcome to June. Summer is here, even though technically summer doesn't start till June twenty first. But really? summer's here. And I'm not there anymore. Unfortunately. Which, which praise Jesus. Because somebody, I'm not gonna point any fingers here. I'm pointing at your screen, not me, but pointing at you. Oh, there's a fucking fuzzy on me. Get off me. Hang on. God damn it. That was awesome. Everybody go check out the YouTube to watch the video <laughs> of this. We are not live currently, but the plan is to edit this. And, well, when I mean edit, I mean transfer it up to YouTube. Yeah, I mean. Because I'm doing minimal editing. The less yes. work I got to do, the better. I mean, ju- just throwing it out there, you know. Maybe we, can, maybe we should outsource that. Maybe we just send it to somebody else. You pay them like you pay them like a buck to edit it, you know. And then when we become rich and famous, we can give them, you know, a little more of a kickback. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sign them and we'll tell them you get 30% of the podcast. And right now that's worth nothing. But in five years, it still might be worth nothing. But or, it's the promise or, that counts. Or in five years, we're fucking, you know, super mega rich because of their editing skills. And then they own 30%, which would be like fucking pff, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Exactly. And we're still majority owners. So as long as we still like each other in five years, we'll still own that bitch. Which is still which is not a promise. Sorry. And Dominic is texting his boyfriend, his real friend. Yeah. The one he wishes would come up to Washington to see him. Which which I keep getting mixed mixed signals because I keep hearing that he's gonna come and and visit me for money in the bank. And then it's like, oh no, he's gonna come October. And I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna come. He's gonna come. And I really want him to come. But, you know, he just keeps blue balling you. I just don't. Yeah, exactly. I just don't think he wants to come, especially over here to see me. Damn. You know, he keeps making excuses like, oh, I gotta you know, I've heard that issue. You know, I've heard the rumor mill that Tyler just has an issue with coming. <laughs> he makes I mean, a, he makes a lot of promises. And then just at the end of the day, he just doesn't come. Yeah. I mean, I honestly it's it's very disappointing. And, you know, for somebody who. Has Talks been a big game him. about how big his dick is. <laughs> you said it, not me. And he can't even put that dick to good use, and <laughs> it's a damn shame. It is a damn shame. But yes, we're back in our regularly scheduled households. I see Dominic in the room, in the bed, which now it is nice. I said I told us before the podcast that I'm, you know, I'm able to visually represent what his room and house actually looks like because I did get. A virtual tour, I think maybe the first time he was actually there. Maybe it was on this podcast, but uh, I got a, I think it was. I, I got the room tour, and now I know fully. I walk well. I guess I didn't technically like walk the sides of the houses because nah. there was like a there's a hornet's nest over there allegedly at the Comcast box. They didn't want to step foot over there. But the actual New, inside newly of the formed, house, newly formed outside Ameri- of the house. I, I saw studio on doesn't believe me still, but I've seen one or two flying in and out. I swear to God. So, but you know. Now that you've been back home and you've decompressed, you've gone to work, you know, you've dealt with friends and family at home and everything. The clients. How much do you miss being in Washington? I mean, I mean, I just, I miss it so much, Dominic. Exactly. It, it, Fucking it pack your life, bags, you're moving in. It was a life-changing experience. Um, For the worst. <laughs> it was... Just a moment, a, a a trip that I will never forget. Um, but yeah, I will say Dominic will. I I know he'll complain about how late we stayed up and how yes. I fucked up his sleep schedule. But I will yes. say, I have been quite tired the rest of the week. Tuesday, oh. I had to go to work on Tuesday. I know, so so brave of me to go to the Coliseum at like four thirty in the afternoon and work like a four and a half hour shift. But I was tired, which is probably the first time ever I was tired at work. I didn't really feel like it. But then I did get uh, woken up because we actually got a worker fight at the Coliseum, which was fun. What? I don't know exactly what happened, but there was these two older black gentlemen, and they were talking at the front of the store, 
I was in the back of the store, so I didn't hear exactly what they were saying. So store, kinda, when you say store, you mean like your, my little area? Okay, all right. So I, I wanted to know if there's like you meant like the little grocery store thing or whatever. Gro- where the fuck is a grocery store in the Coliseum? Or the li- liquor market, whatever the fucking call that thing, the 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 liquor thingy that they, or is that still is that not, is that not even there anymore? What do you even? What are you talking about? Remember, we used to get like the prickly pear Michelob Ultras and that little. Are you talking like, about the Budweiser? Is that what it? It's it's you go in there, it's just all beer and drinks and shit. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. Well, if I'm at work, where else am I gonna be? I don't know. Drinking a beer with a coworker? I don't know. I wish. Pro- probably could. Pro- probably could. So I just work at all American labels. You could do it any- anytime you want. I just threw my mouth a little bit. Shut up, Papa Ponchos. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so I'm in the back of the store, just at my Turn post, off. chilling, and I see these two guys, and they're just like talking to each other. They kind of like were aggressively talking to each other, and there was like a family or something. Like one of them was holding a little kid, and then he puts the little kid down, and then like it starts to ver- like escalate very quickly. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then they walk towards us. They walk past us into the tunnel area where. You know, they're cut off from human civilization, and that's where shit really started popping off, and they started Mm -hmm. yelling at each other, and they were like, oh, come at me. Basically, like, come at me, bro, even though they didn't say come at me, bro, because it's 2023, and they're two old old guys, and they don't say that shit, but it was uh, very interesting. Apparently, it escalated because one of them called the other the N-word, and – Nice. I know Donna approves that, but then I (laughs) – I don't approve it. At least I saw saw one of them the next day. Oof. I don't know what happened to the other one, but – yeah, and then at the end of the day, on Tuesday, one of them wanted to talk it out, and the, apparently the other guy did not want to talk it out. So, so yeah, we got some Oakland Coliseum worker drama. That's what you. That's why you want to stay in Oakland, because you don't get drama like that in Las Vegas, okay? You just get straight, you know, fucking hookers and pimps going crazy, not some fucking OGs in the Coliseum. That's why you, that's why you stay. That's why you got to stay rooted in Oakland. Exactly. And then Wednesday, I was supposed to have a nice, lovely day, have an off day, you know, go to the game with my brother. I got these free tickets. And then I wake up at like nine o'clock. Must be nice. I know. Closer to 930, let's be honest. And I get a text message from both my boss and my coworker because I turned my phone off. They texted me at like 630 in the morning, asked if I can come into work. And so uh, I obliged. I was a good little boy. And I came into work, helped out my boy Miguel. Also, made, well, not because of this, but my boss boss was on jury duty. So it was literally just him who was uh, on standby. So we have done the fort. Last game of the homestand. Didn't get the sweep, but we won the series. Shout out the Oakland A's. Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback, even though we got shut out by the Miami Marlins today. But it's okay. It's A. They won. We the are not won. going to break the regular season wins record for the major league baseball. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, I knew there were some people who thought we could do it, but unfortunately it's just not going to happen this year. Well, I mean, almost come close. Yeah. Division but, still an option. There we go. It's still intact, but anyways, done. might as well finish out your week since, you know, you decided to talk about your week before mine. I mean, I completely, we completely, well, should we, I, you know, we'll talk about our weeks apart and then we'll come back and talk about our next two days together. Cause we, last time we did the podcast was Saturday night. So we still oh, yeah. had so much more. We definitely had an adventure on Monday, but uh, mm-hmm. let's see. Then mm-hmm. Thursday didn't do much. Friday went back to the gym because I could have went to the gym on Thursday, but I was being a little fucking fat ass and was tired. So then I went back to the gym Friday. Uh, pretty sure I saw this old guy uh, take pictures. Uh, hang of- on. I'm getting a, Surprised phone call. Ooh. Hello, you're live on the air on Curveballs and Chair Shots. She is coming home. Oh, it's coming home. Like uh, the World Cup's coming home to England? No. I want to put this on speaker so bad because she's singing that song, Coming Home. But, you know, she might, uh, you know. We're she, also t- she also told her that we're live on YouTube. Oh yeah, we're live on YouTube. So you, you know, you want to be live on? You want me to put on speaker? We are not live on okay. YouTube. But anyways, what was it good now? Oh, Friday, which is today. Creepy old guy who 
I call him you a got me mac guy. and cheese. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me mute my mic. Sorry, Brandon. She got me mac and cheese. I'm excited. I got to mute my mic. Damn, Dominic's got a fucking full on raging boner right now because he got some mac and cheese. Hopefully, it's better than that mac and cheese I got from the food trucks in Idaho. But as Dominic flips me off, this is why you should watch the YouTube channel. But uh, go to the gym Friday. And there was these uh, two lovely young ladies doing hip thrusts at the, uh, uh, what, what are they called? The, uh, the lifting, mach- the lifting spots, the whatever. They were doing hip thrusts and they were wearing, you know, typical things you would wear to the gym. They were wearing sports bras and very tight short shorts. And there's this old guy and they have the, uh, the machine that has like, you know, all the different cables and everything. So it's like one long contraption that like, I don't know, a dozen people can be using all at one time. And so I'm using one thing and the other, the old guy is across the way from me. And so I see him and the, the lovely, lovely young ladies are to the left of me, to the right of him. And I'm doing my set and I stop and I look and he's across the way in between his sets and he has his phone, his iPhone. And it looks like he's texting somebody or messing around with something. And then I know this because I've done this move before. Usually when I'm just trying to record Dominic, which I did record Dominic on doing that, uh, his little, his hip thrusts inside the uh, boot barn, but he took his phone. And if you guys are watching YouTube, which maybe I should lower my camera a little bit. So he's like going like this. He's like, fucking with his phone and then all of a sudden he just goes like this and then and the camera is clearly pointed at the two lovely young ladies and then he like comes back and looks back at his phone so obviously i caught that old man red-handed taking some picture of some ass at the gym and did you report him i did not i asked him excuse me sir can you send me that pick his way my way (laughs) studio on and scummy mac and cheese she's on her way home and then i have to help her unload the car Okay, so maybe we'll just get through the intro of this said podcast. We'll take a little quick time out, yes. and then we'll reconvene to talk about what everybody cares about is what our in-depth analysis of sports and or wrestling. But anyways. But my week. Your Tuesday to Friday, Dominic. You left. I wake up Tuesday morning, crack a dawn, 540. Go to work 7 o'clock. And... It started off as a decent morning. Uh, you know, drove to Quarter Lane, did a couple things, drove to Harrison, which is a little bit further away. And then I and then I lost track of time and I forgot how far Harrison was. And I still had like nine to ten tickets due, and it was like one o'clock. And then I did some I had a minor panic attack, or not a panic attack, but you know, I got, you know, my, mildly overwhelmed with work. To the point where I called my boss and he's like, what do you want? And I'm like, I'm fucking freaking out. I need help. He's like, oh, fuck. And I never really do that. Okay. I'm very cool and calm and collected. And uh, wow. Not even fucking paying attention to me. You're a fucking asshole. I am paying attention to you. You're overwhelmed and you called your boss. Not complaining, but, you know, asking for help. And he snapped at you and you were like, sir, I I need help. And it's something you rarely do. And so he understood this serious. Good. There's All right, I quiz. can at least. There's going to be a I, quiz at the end of the podcast. You good. Pass it. I'll fucking pass it. Um, and then so he helped me out, and then I got home like at you know close to six, and I was tired and hangry and everything. And then you know the rest of the week has been uh, pretty uh, pretty chill. Had a good conversation with both my supervisor and my boss. So I'm hoping crossing some fingies here that uh, begin a pay raise pretty soon, like an actual like decent one. Um, and you know like maybe. I start applying for other positions within the company, you know, stuff like that. Possibly in the state of Nevada. Uh, they took that posting down, so and I never got a call back or anything. So I have the guy's number. I can call him and be like, "Yo, what the fuck?" Yeah, Dominic, uh, right now, call that person. And be like, "Fucking put me in Las Vegas right now." Well, my my boss boss was saying that they could transfer me, and I'm like, "Yeah, I'm not fucking working outside in a hundred plus degree weather every day. Fuck that shit." So. But there is a but there is a supervisor posting in Seattle. And I'm like, yeah, do I want to move to Seattle? That's like the San Francisco of Washington. That's fucking disgusting. So but at least there's good food and more things to do over in Seattle. Yeah, it's very true. Get better so, wrestling shows in Seattle. You know, better, you know, real baseball and football and hockey. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, and then yeah, that's pretty much been it. You know, studio audience worked, you know, past couple of days too. She's fucking tired. Uh, mascot 
by the way, Brandon, you broke the mascot's heart. Okay? I sent him into a deep spiraling, he has not spiraling been the same. depression. He has not been the same since you've left. Oh, so, damn. So he needs So more. I think this just it just shows that he loves me more than he loves you guys. I think I think it's true. I mean, you yeah. I do have a video of you jerking him off, so I mean. Well, I mean, that's just all alleged and it's all about the angle. We'll be posting it on Twitter. If, it's all if it's all about the that. angle. It's all about the angle that you shot it at. It looks like it's one thing when it's clearly not that. But anyways, anyways, I got the caramel cold brew M and M's. We're gonna try them in a, in a minute. I turned Dominic on to cold brews now, and apparently, Ghost Energy drinks cold brews. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got a cold brew from Starbucks. Yeah, and you called me a little snowflake snowflake libtard because I don't order a fucking milkshake at nine o'clock in the morning milkshake. I got a hot coffee. I mean, just because I shot an arrow doesn't mean it was pointed at you. Oh, or two milkshakes in the morning. Oh, with extra whipped cream and caramel on the top and bottom. <laughs> and then complain about how they didn't put enough whipped cream or caramel or whatever it's called on the top and or bottom. Hey, 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 stop doxing. That was the yeah. He had a really bad order. He, his puppuccino was uh, not to his liking. So, but, uh, but yeah, you know, and then we can talk about Sunday and Monday real quick. I mean, and then I can go into my, my little M and M thing because I'm fucking staring at these sons of bitches and I'm like, really want to try them. And then studio on should be home by then. And then I, we can pause and I can eat Mac and cheese on the podcast and give you the rating of Spokane arena Mac and cheese. All right. He's just like Frank, the tank doing arena food. Reviews. Shut the fuck up. Don't you fucking compare me to that motherfucker. By the way, just found out that the video clips Brandon and Tyler have been sending to me in the group chat is uh, of is of uh, wait the uh, uh, rewind beep, 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 beep. the video clips that Brandon and Tyler have been sending in the group chat is of Jersey. Am I saying this right? I'm fucking retarded. Is of Jer- Jersey Jerry? Is that is that how would you? They are clips of Jersey Jerry. They are Jersey Jerry clips. Yeah, whatever. That guy's a bitch. Wow. What now? You hate Frank the Tank and you hate. Jersey Jerry. I didn't say I hate him. I just say he's a bitch. Who pops a fucking massive boner for cologne? Expect payment, Bob. The fuck was that? Expect demon time. Expect demon time. <laughs> it's just, uh... A PG thirteen type of deal. This is a PG. Well, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, that's not him. That is, that is fake peen. Fake peen. Very pointy peen. That is fake peen. We just got all the Jersey Jerry clips. It's like you so many Jersey Jerry clips. You idle him. Just give it to me, Daddy. Uh, just give it to me, Poppy. Huh? Anything else? Uh... anyways so we finished recording saturday i think we stayed up and played mario party and i got my ass clapped i'm just gonna go through my meme catalog that's fine you do that while i discuss saturday sunday and monday um you know then we woke up sunday and brandon being the brilliant man he is he brought the amazon fire stick but without the fucking remote so me and him which is something i've done in the past me and him had to go on a little mini adventure i think we went to um did we go to starbucks sunday yeah went to starbucks sunday we went to we went to Safeway first. Then we came back from Safeway. I had my breakfast burrito. Great! No, we went to Safeway. Then no, we went no, to we Walmart. Went, Great no, we breakfast went, no, burrito. No, we went to Walmart. Then we went to say uh, we went to Walmart. Went to Safeway. No, went to Walmart. Went to Starbucks. Came home. Did that. Went to Safeway. Came back. Got a great breakfast burrito. Which I like how Brandon goes up to the counter. Lady, you know, looks like she's just clocking in or whatever, you know, blah, blah, blah. They exchange words. I come walking back. He goes, Dominic, should I do a sandwich or a breakfast burrito? And I'm like, breakfast burrito. And he goes, well, I guess we're doing a breakfast burrito then. I'm like, well, if you ordered a sandwich, he goes, no, I didn't order anything. I just 
you know, I told the lady I was looking at a sandwich and, and, you know, whatever. And then I start walking around. I hear her talking about stuff that's pre-made and she takes you to like lunch sandwiches, like turkey sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, whatever that are pre-made on the shelf. And I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, I thought you wanted a breakfast burrito. And he goes, yeah, I told her a breakfast burrito. And she fucking took me to here. And then I was like, oh, look, a breakfast burrito pre-made. And you're like, all right, I'll take it. Yeah, just just give me the fuck out of here. No more human interactions. Yes, exactly. That's all I, that's all I want. Picked up a couple of nece- uh, you know, necessary little things for the meals and then uh, came back. Didn't get any more alcohol. It was you a good didn't. thing. You definitely didn't need any more. Um, and then came back. I think we watched. I think we watched something else. I don't remember. And then we watched Double or Nothing. And then we got our, we got the pizza. Oh yeah, on Sunday. Got well, we were gonna we were gonna go to the Harley Davidson store, which was literally like right next door to Dominic's place. And I said it as a well, I didn't say it as a joke, but I said it, said in my it joking as a joke. Little, and I, and I, I no, I as... said in my little joking fashion, like, "Oh, there's a Harley Davidson store, Dominic. Can we go there?" And Dominic was like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. And so then we didn't go the rest of the day Saturday. And then I brought it up to him later Saturday night, and he thought I was joking. I'm like, "Uh, no, I'm dead serious. Can we fucking go to the Harley Davidson store tomorrow or Monday or something? It was like, oh, okay. I could really get a lot. I get the vibes from Dominic and Studio Honest. They really wanted to go to the Harley Davidson store. Because apparently they're intimidated by the Harley Davidson store because Whoa, they okay, just motherfucker. we're not intimidated. We're just why the fuck? Why the fuck I'm gonna go to a Harley Davidson store and not buy a motorcycle? I'm gonna you... I wanna look at clothes. I wanna look at fucking uh, hats. No, no, I wanna no, I wanna get a poker chip because that's something my father collects at every single Harley Davidson store. And if they ask me, I can tell him that and they will be very helpful in understanding of that. Because it connects dog, us. I guess dog just needs to come up and visit me then. Exactly. I mean, the store's name was called Lone Wolf, and I'm very angry that they didn't that they weren't open. So, anyways, we go there sat Sunday, and they weren't open. It was like noon, one, two o'clock, and it they weren't open. We kind of knew they weren't open because there was not a single fucking car in the parking lot. And then we get there, closed. And the studio owner proceeds to go, well, you know, there's a lot of places around here that are <laughs> closed on Sunday. And so then, you know what my fucking petty ass does as we drive to the uh, pizza factory, not the pizza factory, but the pizza place that we went to. It's called I River pre- City Pizza. And, River uh, City Pizza, shout out. And, uh, I proceed to point out every single establishment in that five, ten minute drive that happened to be open on Saturday, Sunday. And I think by the time we got to the parking lot, studio owner wanted to rip my fucking head off. So I just shut up and just let it go. Didn't want to ruin the whole trip. Good boy. I mean, you already ruined it. So, but anyways, as I was saying, it was called Lone Wolf. I bet the t-shirts they had there were fucking sick with the wolves and bikers on it. Oh, Dominic, for my birthday, you got to go down there. Give me something and ship it up here. The fuck? Yep. I'm, I'm ordering that. I'm demanding that. The fuck? Yep. What'd you do for my birthday this, last year, huh? Uh... Well, I I did send you uh, some. Uh, 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 I sent you some stuff, but apparently it got lost in the mail. Right. Yeah. Right. You. I mean, you. You can't. You just can't trust UPS. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, got the pizza, came home, ate it, watched Double or Nothing, watched some. What was the the NXT pay per view? That was uh. uh we also watched uh La Liga Mexico. Final with con uh, los chi- los chivas y los tigres y los you. tigres uh, gana in tiempo extra. I don't know if I said that right. I feel like I said enough words right. If you guys want to correct me, Johnny Roca, the audience, whoever the hell's out whoa, there whoa, who whoa, speaks whoa, Spanish, who listens it? to us, tell me if I got it right. I probably got like sixty percent of that right. So enough. Um, I don't care. Then fine. Yeah, we watch soccer. And then Double Mary, so I mean, sorry, studio audience, kayfabe that, you know, we watch like five minutes of this fucking soccer game. And then she calls like every Mexican she knows who likes, who likes it was Chivas. fucking Alex. It was her old coworker. And, and the real best friend, Brian. No, she texted him. Yeah. But also like, let's just be honest. If the A's or the Raiders or whoever insert my favorite team that you guys don't really care about ended up 
going to the finals and losing. And we never talk about it. We never talk about the A's. We never <laughs> talk about any of that shit. <laughs> and then in my lowest point, they lose. And I get you guys fucking texting me and harassing me. I'm blocking everything. I'm blocking all you guys. We're shutting this podcast down. No, you wouldn't. Well, it's okay because we don't need to worry about that because the, the A's and the Raiders are coming nowhere near the finals in the next couple of years. But the Heat, hey. Never know. We'll get to that in a little know. bit. But, uh, you know, so we watched Double or Nothing, NXT, whatever. Then we go out in the backyard and my drunk ass just starts ripping little fucking cigarillos because that's what I do. Yeah. I might have asked Dominic if he has any of his dad's uh, darts around. Did not the, uh, I no. told him no, but, you know, if he wanted to get some, he could have got some, but he didn't. What a friend he is. And then... Then I started watching a 1996 ECW pay-per-view or a show for no fucking reason. Because yep. they just kept talking to Xander Bogart's dad. And I was like, yeah, I'm not going in there. So I'm just going to fucking put something on and just chill and start down in this beer. Because I, as we said last time on the last podcast, I erroneously picked out a 12-pack of 16-ounce Miller Lights. And I am here to say, everybody, I finished all 16 of those beers by Monday. I am a champion. So it was a 12 pack. But if you do the math, it's 16 regular 12 ounces. So I drank 16 beers in four days. I know I am a champion. Everybody hold their applause. Actually, more like three and a half days because, but I know I'm I'm the champion that, yeah, I, everybody, I'm just so proud of myself. Even though I did well, the TikTok thing where I just poured the beer in the stein. So it flattened it out. So it really even wasn't like beer. It was just drinking like, and Milk I drink my six pack of non alcoholic beer. We good job, Dominic. Good job. Everybody clap it for Dom Dom. I don't get what I want though. Um, and then would but... we like to uh discuss what happened on Monday? Or no, well then <laughs> we played then we played Mario Party till two o'clock in the morning for no goddamn fucking reason. And Dominic was a little cranky. Answer answer cranky. I was kind of cranky, but uh, then we come to Monday, which was a fantastic <laughs> day. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it, but I feel like I have to. You have to talk about it, Dominic. This is an open forum for all of our listeners and all of our friends. Oh, God. All right. Long story short. No, we need the long story. We need the short story long. I have a barbecue. It is called a Traeger. Some people on other podcasts call it a bitch-ass barbecue not a real barbecue a basic whatever. ass fucking smoker that anybody go. can fucking buy if you're a real smoker you get something better than a fucking traeger that's exactly. some people that's what some people say not me some people think yeah and since being here i've only used it maybe well okay let me backtrack i didn't clean i what i should have done before moving was i should have cleaned it all out but i didn't fast forward uh moved up here got it set up and i used it for Thanksgiving, I made a Thanksgiving brisket, you know, made some steaks on it, made burgers a couple times, whatever. Um, so Monday, we go, oh, you know, I'm like, so what are we going to do today for Monday, Dominic? You know, last like, day I'm here. What are we going to do? We're going to do anything special? I mean, maybe no, out, fuck that shit. Breakfast. I'm not doing shit. I'm not doing anything you know, for someone you. Someone maybe brought up to go to the oh, mall. Oh, somebody's maybe here. Go... Somebody's here. Damn. Right back. So should we so should we tell my side of the story or should we no, wait, wait for, you? for me? Pause okay, it, motherfucker. Okay, we're gonna take a quick timeout. We're gonna take a quick thirty, and we're gonna come back. And Dominic will tell his side of the story, which is definitely the real side of the story, and not a fabricated, full of lies and propaganda. So we'll be right back after this commercial break. All right, guys, we're back, and as you guys can see on the YouTube, it was definitely more than just a couple minute break because now it is pitch black outside <laughs> and my lighting is showing through as of the moment as i have my youtube white screen for 10 hour video playing in the background and that's the only thing illuminated in this room so dominic and tell us about your about our monday well monday was a beautiful off to a great start beautiful memorial day weekend beautiful memorial day monday praise 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 jesus praise the troops and uh I thought, you know what? Brandon deserves mm -hmm. some homemade burgers. You know, because by the time we got up, got situated, kind of woke up finally. It, it was, was nine o'clock. Shut the fuck up. 
It was nine o'clock in the morning. Well, shut the fuck up. So it I was may like, or okay. may not have to do with the fact that Dominic's dad showed up super duper early when he. Yeah, you have to tell the whole story, Dominic. Don't just fucking skip chapters. May or may not be the fact that Dominic's dad showed up very early in the morning when he gave us no uh, advance notice because yeah. you know he he was nice. He was nice. He went. He got a, a hotel room and he stayed in a hotel. You know, in his at his home abode. And he he might have showed up at like seven o'clock or earlier, or who knows when he fucking. He said up. it was like eight, but which is the time, yeah. same time I woke up. So there you go. Which. He may or may not have opened Brandon's door. Don't know yet. May not be his door, even though Dominic and him had an agreement that I was going to sleep in Dominic and Sudianis' bed. And I was like, "Yeah, no, I hear stories about what happens on that bed." Oh yeah, brother. Anyway, Dominic Dominic shits his pants when he's sleeping. (laughs) Anyways, so by the time I'm like, you know. I told Brian we're gonna make burgers. We're gonna make some burgers. Nah, I think you said we we're gonna go out to go out to a diner and then possibly go out to the mall after that. Yeah, that that, that that's just to get you excited, and then I tear the rug out from underneath you, and you go, "Oh, okay, we're doing nothing again." And, and then, uh, so you know, get the ground beef out, marin, you know, season it up, you know, let it sit for a little bit. And then I'm like, oh shit, we got steaks in here. We got to use. So I'm like, oh, fucking put steaks on the grill too. Fuck yeah, we're it, making you know? hamburgers and steaks at like ten o'clock in the morning. Yeah, okay, that's America for you. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, I invited Evan Door over. Got to Evan Door. Nobody will get that reference. No. Nah. Travis might if he listens. If he's if he yeah, still Travis listens. still listens, but I doubt it. <laughs> But anyways, Travis, um, bring back Trapped Red Hell. <laughs> um, we miss it. Mainly Dominic misses it. Exactly. Because he misses you randomly calling him on a Tuesday night asking about the Milwaukee Brewers. Exactly. Um, so then we start grilling and the studio audience is like, oh, let's let, let's put bacon on the grill. And, 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 and I, they already know I didn't clean it. They know I didn't clean it. Okay. Okay, then. but what did I say? You should. Okay, fine. Yeah, sorry. I gotta make. I gotta prove a point here. Studio audience did tell me, "Hey, you should clean your grill before you barbecue." And I was like, "Ah, I've done this plenty of times." And exactly, but the fucking grease. Okay, and so I'm like, "Oh, I got this." Whatever. So she brings out the bacon. She's like, "Put the bacon on." I'm like, "Hey, I'm not." I'm not good at cooking bacon because I burn it in the fucking pan in the kitchen all the time, you know, and she's like, you're fine. And she puts it on the puts it on the grill. And at that point, I turned it up to like 400 because I was trying to cook the steaks and cook the burgers like, you know, because th- they were smoking for, I think at the time, like 45 minutes or something like that. And I was getting hangry. So I was like, OK. And then I don't think it was 45 minutes, but continue. It was about 45 minutes. Because I usually smoke my burgers for an hour and then grill them for like 10 or something like that. Continue. This is a Dominic story. It is my story. And, uh, you know, we're, we're all just out there talking, you know, whatever. I think we're smoking cigars. I don't, I don't know if we're smoking cigars yet, but. We definitely we're, we're not. We're hanging out. We didn't smoke the cigars at the very end. Oh, okay. See, do, this, this just shows you how reliable of a source Dominic Hobson is right now. With all the concussions. Anyways. Um. Notice that there's a lot of smoke coming out of my grill. And I'm like, huh, that's weird. I open up the lid and I'm like, oh, it's just smoky. And then all of a sudden, you just, my whole grill just goes up in fucking flames. And I'm, and I start freaking out. I shut the lid because I'm thinking, like, okay, you know, it, it's fine. It's fine. It's like, it's like, you know, it's fine. Open as long as he up. closes the lid that shuts off the air and he's going to, it's fine. It's all good. Exactly. Even though there's a giant hole of, you know, that the smoke is supposed to go out of, which also means oxygen gets into that hole. Exactly. And then um, open it up again. It's still on fire. I I try to save everything and it's just not fire. I I go into full panic mode. I start fucking kind of like going back and forth. Like, what do I do? What do I do? You know, and and I think Brandon, I like Brandon, go get a plate. I got to put the food on, on, on on a plate and you bring an A plate. 
for all the food. I'm like, you got to get another plate, you know, this and that. And I'm like, I need salt. I need salt. You got to throw the fault salt on the flames. And, and studio audience just pushes me out of the way. And she just, uh, takes hold on, everything. hold on. What, what was the studio audience doing before that? Was she I'm, laughing at me? While, while I'm running into the house, trying to save the house and get she the laughing food off at the me? grill. I don't remember. She was eating a muffin. Oh yeah. You're eating a muffin. <laughs> yeah, on the couch, okay. uh, just on the chair. Yeah. And then she handed you the muffin <laughs> when she got up and pushed me out of the way to to take charge. And then she took it all. Uh, you know, I just turned off the grill. And yeah. Great story, Dominic. It was scary. In you guys don't know, he's outside, but it's oh so slightly in between the awning and the outside. And the flames went quite high, and the flames <laughs> could have caught either a a blind or whatever those things are called that are hanging over the edge, Shade. or it also could have caught on the tree. Hey, but it didn't. <laughs> but it did not. So instead, for reference for everyone on the podcast, hey, God damn it, Brandon! There you go. That's what happened. <laughs> just no, I was just showing a picture. Smoky, smoky goodness. This was, I think, after all the f- it, it was engulfed in flames, and now it was just smoke. But that's that's old Dom. That's old Dom. Dom right there, just laughing his cute little eyes out. Oh. He took the picture of me. Uh, he did. You know what? Yeah. At least we still had corn. <laughs> uh, by the way, there's still corn in the fridge if you want some. Hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, took you to the airport. Happiest day of my life. Even though you were, I yeah, was told that. You, yeah, even though I told it, even though I was told that you were crying, uh, like I was a little not bawling. fucking baby. I had a little tear. The studio audience was the one that was crying, sobbing. There's tissues in my truck right now with her DNA. There were tissues on it. in your truck before I got there. Oh. there Those were happy tissues. tissues Whatever. She had tissues and she, because I was like, I was jacking off this car. No. I was like, are we, are we really crying over this son of a bitch? She's like, and i'm like babe stop because you're crying it's gonna get me to cry and i said i want don't want to give this motherfucker the benefit of knowing that you know are you gonna cry again oh okay looks like you're gonna cry again it makes me feel better i just bawled my eyes out inside the spokane international airport Uh uh-huh crying all over my comp my pepperoni pizza combos You bought pizza? I said pepperoni pizza combos. Does not nobody know what a fucking combo is? You bought pizza. Does nobody know what a fucking combo is? Pepperoni pizza combo? Yeah. What's a pepperoni pizza combo, babe? He said he was crying. No. He said he was crying. He was crying over his pepperoni pizza combo in the airport. So you bought pizza at the airport? No, I fucking didn't buy pizza at the airport, Dominic. Jesus Christ, those are what combos are. Never seen this before. It's like a it's like a snack. I can't see what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Oh, the snacks. Yeah, I the snacks. Those. Never heard of them, never seen them. Yeah, you have. Pizza bites. Well, that pizza bites. Oh, French fries. Little rolls. Big Oreo. They're fantastic. Look at I this. Saw, I saw a video. Pound of cheese. Look at all that cheese. You could have got that. Mm. And this is how you get the body of a god, like Dominic Hobson. <laughs> Eating McDonald's and drinking. He's fat, he's fat shaming me right now. At 9 o'clock. And you were, I was told no, that we were going to get. I think he's wearing my shirt, Brandon. Look at his kitties. <laughs> and I was also told that we were going to get a macaroni and cheese review on the podcast. We haven't fucking gotten that yet. Well, I decided we got food instead, so no mac and cheese review. No, I think you still have the mac and cheese, but you're just deciding not to give us a food review on the podcast. They did put my, they put my bun upside down. You see that shit? I was going to ask. It looked like it was like, I thought it was like a patty melt or something. They fucking 
how fucking stupid are you, McDonald's? Come on. And this is the type of service you can get if you move to Spokane Valley, Washington. Ridiculous. So, uh, Brennan, overall, out of well, you're not going to ask. Well, then I'm not supposed to tell my side of the story. Oh, go ahead. Basically, everything Dominic said. He almost burnt the house down, and then Drew Jones yelled at him because he was a fucking dirty ass smoker. He doesn't clean his shit. Almost like it's ignom- ig- ignomatic. Represent. It's a representation of Dominic's life. Doesn't clean after himself. And then the studio. Did you? Uh, when did you guys end up replacing that toilet paper roll I kept telling you about? Uh, like that same day. What? No, you didn't. Lies. Yeah, I did. Lies. Uh, I had to because. Yeah, I yelled at. Even though I was yelling at you beforehand. I don't, I don't. I don't appreciate your tone of voice right now. Well, I'm trying to bring some. Which I'm trying to bring some structure into the house. And I know Josh doesn't listen to this podcast, but Josh would be appreciative that I yelled at you about not putting your fucking Spokane Indians jacket away because that goddamn jacket stayed on that couch for like two straight days. And I was like, Dominic, are you going to fucking put this in your room? It's still didn't. it's still on the chair. And it's still in the fucking chair to this day. Almost a week, literally a week since he bought that thing. It hasn't even been in his room once. <laughs> Pissing me off. Fucking clean up after yourself, Dominic. You're 28 years old. Be a man. I'm okay. Yeah, fucking drink your chocolate latte thing, whatever the fuck that it's is. It's a Coke slushy. Oreo, I spilled. Oreo, I spilled. I spilled. It's right here. Check right there. Right here. Badass. Anyways, get dropped off at the Spokane Airport. There was no... So, at Oakland, they have all these different kiosks that you can go and check your bag in and get the tag, and you can do it yourself. And I'm like, perfectly fine with that. But then... At the Spokane Airport, they have kiosks, but they have the kiosks in front of the place where you literally, like, give your bag up to the workers, but they only had a few open, but the ones that were open were being run by workers, so I was very confused on why do you have kiosks there if you're just going to have workers there to take your bags and check them in and do all that shit. And so then I go to one of the workers and I start touching the kiosk and then the worker yells at me and she was like, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, I don't know. I thought I saw a kiosk in front of me. I thought I could just do it myself. But then she, yeah. I thought people in Washington were supposed to be nice, Dominic. And then when I go to TSA, which by the way, there was TSA pre-check and there was just a regular general screening. There was three people in the regular screening and there was like 20 people in the TSA pre-check. I breezed through the, the regular TSA check-in point and... Anyways, I had a laptop in there, and I asked the guy when I clearly didn't hear it because I was getting my things checked. I was getting my ID checked when he said it. I asked him, do I need to take my laptop out? And he was like, I already said keep everything. I'm like, you know what, motherfucker? Sorry. Yes, sir. I will keep everything in my bag. And then I left. So people, the airport workers of Spokane, Washington, very angry. Yeah, because assholes like you, that don't pay attention. Well, I'm sorry when it says kiosk open, I thought, okay, maybe I'm, I can do the kiosk. But then what's the point of having all those kiosks there if there's just going to be workers that are going to do all the things the kiosk does anyways? You understand what I'm saying? I 100% understand what you're saying, Brandon, and I apologize for your inconvenience. Because you were there. Okay. You you went to the Spokane Airport. You took Southwest, I assume. You know what the fuck I'm talking yep. about. What is no even the point? Of, what are even the point of all those kiosks there? Because even if there are like 20 kiosks that are open, there's going to be just one person working there. So are you going to have everyone go to the kiosk? And they had another kiosk that was off to the side, but it was just a kiosk to do everything else besides get a bag check. Yeah. Like what the point is even that fucking kiosk there for anyways? I don't know. People like me that, you know, only have a carry-on bag and, you know, flew down. Just check well, I have faith in TSA and in Southwest workers that I just want to check my bag in and not even fucking care about it because there's so many dipshits out there who just want to stuff everything in the overhead compartment. And then also the dipshits who literally as soon as the flight lands, you get the fuck up and just stand in the in the aisle way, even though you're all the way in the back of the fucking plane. Like, what are you doing? You're going to have to wait for everybody else in front of you unless you have a connected flight and you're going to be one of those people who yells like, oh, I need to go. I need to go. Excuse me. Excuse me. But nobody does that. They just stand in the aisle like a fucking idiot and take up all this room. But I did feel like an asshole because it was a connecting flight to Vegas and there was this elderly one. 
older white couple who's sitting next to me and they were not going anywhere. So they, and I sat in the window seat. So I made them get the fuck up and I hate left. Uh-huh. Even though flight was not as full going to Oakland as it was going to Washington. So I sat in the front, even though if I went to the back of the plane, probably could have got like, you know, a empty middle seat, but I did not. Did not want to press my luck. I'm proud of you, bud. And then I got home and I checked my phone at the Oakland airport and I saw that the Heat were fucking killing the Sixers or the, the Celtics and the A's were beating the Atlanta Braves. So it was a great day on Monday. Except the part where I had to leave Dominic in the studio audience and the master. That made it fa- that made it fantastic. What? I played the fifth when he left. He was happy he left. No, that's not what I said, Dominic. I know, right? Tell him, tell me how you feel about that. Say it a little louder, baby. Say it. Say it. Say it. She thinks you're a fucking dick. I think he knows. Oh. Hmm. Hang on. Did you want to beat him up on uh, the way to get pizza? Pizza? Yeah. On Sunday? What? Because uh, he kept saying, like, oh, that place is open. Oh, that place is open. But it's Sunday. No? Oh. Shut the fuck up. Oh. Told you. Okay. Told you. I was right. I don't remember. I was drunk that day. Oh, you, you oh okay. you helped you helped him drink his uh yeah. you okay yeah we've been through that already um but so you're saying that you were drunk did you help him drink his beers is that what you're saying Mary? uh studio audience you helped him drink his beers huh yeah, wow. yeah. so he didn't finish all t- his whole beers you had to help him yes bitch Damn. <laughs> I'm a I'm a liar I'm a scam artist yeah. <laughs> and Tyler if you do listen to this. He has a sweater for you. Package was received. Okay, good. Well, Tyler, you didn't text me. Yeah, what a fucking asshole that yeah. guy is. Yeah, we got we got to talk about Tyler now. Fucking that guy. Fucking keeps saying he's gonna come up. Oh no, we already did that bit. Never mind. You can do it again. Don't put down on the bit. Tyler can't come. Damn. Right. Terrible. Terrible. Shocker. Well, I thought I was going to go on an Oakland A's date with Tyler this uh, in two weeks to watch the Philadelphia Phillies take on the Oakland Athletics. But then I try to confirm because I got my schedule or my possible schedule, and I asked everyone, are we still good to go on this specific day so I can tell my boss I can't work that day? And then he said he can't because he's a broke hoe. No, he makes t- at least $22 an hour. He should not be a broke hoe. Probably makes more now. Well, apparently everyone's leaving, so he should be like middle management or fucking running the place. This yeah, exactly. He probably runs the whole department now, so he should be making at least twenty three fifty. So, how many hours times forty? Give give or take. You know, there's days where you know you have to work a little later. There's probably days where they get out a little early. You know. Tyler, you know, what's when, when, 23.5 times 40? You know, when, when I worked there, he was very much like, get in, get out, go home. How much is it? $940. A week. That would be before taxes. Yeah, so let's we'll call, call it. We'll call it 800 A good 800 a week. So 1600 And he's a broco? Come on. With, with there's three three levels of income coming in. Shout out Sarah. I'm sure I'm sure it would be free tickets, or would they have to pay for their own ticket? Well, you know, maybe I'd be a, maybe I could be a good person and pay for the tickets. You know, it will be the first time I paid for someone's fucking ticket, right? Yeah. Tyler, you know, that's not a shot. That's not a shot at you. That's yeah, a that's, shot. Also, that's a shot at you, Tyler. That's a, that's a shot at that guy over there who's wearing that shirt that he got free tickets to. Does he remember what shirt he's wearing? Damn, he got Big Mac sauce on his fucking AEW double and nothing no, shirt. I don't. Uh, you bought the tickets for this, but who bought the hotel? Damn. No, this one was me. This is 2019. Then we go back to 2021. 
went down under digital, fucking paid for everything. Shout out down under down under digital. You plead the fifth. I'm not wearing 2021 merch, am I? You're not wearing 2021 merch because we don't have 2021 merch. It's 2022. You exactly. fucking idiot. Exactly, you bitch. Yeah. Tyler, Brandon talks hella shit behind your back. Yeah, I fucking hate that guy. See, now I've seen it to your face finally. Yeah. Or to your ear. Anyways, Tyler, love you. Are we love done with this remember. podcast yet? I don't know. So that is it for the boring, the part everyone cares about. Is there any, uh, is it tea time? Is there any things nope. we need to talk? Okay. That, that segment's dead forever. Gone forever. Aaron Hernandez. Dead just like, just like her. Whoa. She died? I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. All right. All right. Let's go to the sports real quick. Uh, baseball. Who who gives a fuck about baseball at this point? I mean, I also probably have watched more Seattle Mariners games this week than Dominic has his entire time in Spokane, Washington. I watched like an inning. Yeah, we're not we're not counting the the what the Mariners Pirates game we watched on Saturday. I watched. Oh no! I watched a game by myself. And then the one I'll watch with you soon. That technically too. Oh, look at oh Dominic, big Mariners fan, but an even bigger Spoken Indians fan. Yeah, I mean, I wish they had straight to TV. Huge Spoken Indians fan, but uh, yeah, A's won a series, beat the Braves two out of three. Love to see it. So now we got twelve wins. Yeah. Can can we get three wins in a week? Probably not. Stadium update: the uh, stadium bill. Supposed to be due by Monday, which is the 5th. Uh, the Nevada governor vetoed the Democratic, the Democrat led uh, state budget bill. And basically, they said, if we can't get the budget done, we're not doing anything else. So they got three more days to get that budget figure out, or else there ain't going to be no, uh, no stadium bill passed. So by next week, we should know. It should be very interesting. Also, the uh, reverse boycott is scheduled, still scheduled for June 13th at the uh, Coliseum against Tampa Bay Rays on a Tuesday night. So if the there's no stadium bill passed, there's still some hope for Oakland fans. So that should be a, uh, a fun time, fun atmosphere. If I uh, should be getting my schedule here, probably either Saturday or Monday. And if I don't, uh, I'm not scheduled for that day, probably we'll be going to that game. Raising some hell and chanting, yeah, fuck but, John Fisher you know. and sell the team. You're, you're, but they're going to have you work because they're going to need all hands on deck because it's going to be a sold, sold out stadium, right? Yeah, like 20,000 people. 2,800 people, you said? Maybe. Hopefully. I wonder <laughs> how many people are actually going to show up to that. Well, let's check the let's check the tickets right now. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. You know what? We're going to go fucking in depth here. We're going to share the screen. Everybody's going to see this. Come on, everybody. Come Time along to with us. Share your screen, Brandon Tanguma. Come along with us. Share the screen. Oh, yes, we're sharing the screen. All right. Oakland. Oh, big hopefully. booty bitches. What the what? fuck? Tickets. All right. I could have, you know, I could have gone to my, uh, you know, single gom tickets. Single gom tickets. And now the uh, lighting. I see, I see the special event tickets have been clicked on. So. Oh, Monday, June twelfth. Don't care about that game. Here it is, June thirteenth. Single game tickets starting at ten dollars. Let's buy some of these bitches. It's swim team night. Ooh, swim team night. Brandon, Brandon hopes he sees some bitches in swimsuits. And don't mean the women. I mean the men. If I'm trying to see some speedos, I'm trying to see some little fucking dicks, or big dicks, or some big dicks. I don't care. Is it gonna load? Probably not. Who's, Any, who's using day. all the bandwidth right now? What the fuck? Yeah, using all the goddamn bandwidth, Don. What the fucking way? Probably should have done this earlier. Like house is right there. 146 results found. That means there's only $146 left. Oh. Dollars? Nope. Oh, I, I fucked it up. Seat map section. I don't know what I'm doing. See, this is what happens. I don't go to I don't go to a game this year. I don't know how to fucking work <laughs> this thing. Oh. Look like look at, uh, look at all these sold out tickets. You know, I'm pretty sure these just aren't available tickets. All right. So let's uh oh look. 
Section 121 sold out. Let's just go around the field. Let's go to here. Section 120, right where I work. Eh, pretty good. Okay, it's not bad. I wish I could just go from section to section, but I can't. That's just, you just hate to see that. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's go to like the upper level, 222. Yikes. Oh, completely empty, except for that one. Who the fuck picks one ticket just right here? Row six, seat 10. Never know. Maybe, right maybe, maybe that's middle. a special seat for them. Maybe that's like, oh. Right there down in the middle. Let's see, section 113. Ooh. Oh, oh these are, well, these are the fancy seats. I mean, of course, those are going to get sold. Let's go to the uh, let's go to the bleachers. Let's see oh, what the well, bleachers. I mean, the... Most, you... eh, I mean, you know, you got some seats here sold up in the front. Nothing here in the back. Uh, let's just go section over here. They're pretty pretty decent. You know, so it's not, not going to be a. It's not going to be a but... jam packed sold out crowd. But you know, as we're seeing, there's a lot of seats that are taken up. A lot of seats. Oh, look, this is a. Not a full section completely sold out, but you know, I know, no, no, get, get more, get more on the over, like, uh, go to like, uh, pick a section, any section, two, 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 oh, six, two, oh, six. All right, let's go over here, right in the overhang. I, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tickets sold all in the front row. Let's go to a, the same seat, but on the other side, so 228. Yikes. Completely empty. Ooh, so much for your uh, A's fans coming together, huh? Ooh. Oh, but you know, right behind home plate, almost completely sold out. Seventeen. Oh, but almost completely sold out. Eighteen. Almost completely sold out. Nineteen. So it looks like those 70%. lower levels are going to be. So the lower levels are definitely getting filled up. But it's not what, a, a what about uh, what about they nosebleed can't... behind home plate? Ooh, yikes! Three seventeen, decent. Yikes! A couple rows, but once again, it's also a Tuesday night against the Tempe Rays, so I'm just going to assume a lot of these purchases are strictly for the boycott. I would say most of those purchases are for the boycott. Ooh, the nosebleeds. There you go. Just maybe get in, buy a cheap ticket, just hang out at the club at the uh, treehouse. See, section 130, maybe a place I would go to. Eh, okay. So there you go, everybody. So get ready. Two weeks from now, we got the uh, reverse Bork. Oh, fuck. I don't know how to work this thing. You're, you're good. There we go. There we go. Got it. I'm back. I need to illuminate my face because we don't want to be like the singer on Double or Nothing who has blackface. We don't want to be caught up in that. But anyways, we'll stay tuned for that, if I cry or not, next week. I mean, right. I, I already cried last week. Well, the, well, the Southwest airplane was backing up, and I saw those, those Washington Hills for the last time. Well, it's time for Mr. X's questions. Well, week. no, it's not, because we got the NBA Finals we got to talk about. We got game ones in the books. It happened yesterday. The Nuggets absolutely fucking shellac the Heat. And yes, the Heat, as much as both of us were down thinking the Celtics were going to make the comeback completely, they did not. The Heat staved them off. I don't even know if that's a real word. It sounds like a word that sounds spout right, but it's not. Anyways, the Heat got it done in game seven. They only got a couple days rest while the Nuggets were off for like a week and a half, it felt like. And the Nuggets came out and showed that they were a fucking wagon. I knew they were a fucking wagon. I was scared. Still loving my heart for the Heat, and if they do end up falling, which I do think they will, it will still be a fantastic season. But Dominic, as I continue to say, Nuggets are a wagon; they are going to win this championship. I mean, that's also me with the Heat. Keep my expectations very low, so I don't get disappointed. And if they end up winning, I can be very happy. I think that's what we kind of, you know, we we, we kind of established that last week was like if if the Celtics made it, we want Nuggets to win. If the Heat make it, we don't care who wins. Or at least it's how I feel. You know, it would be nice to see the Heat win just because, you know, Jimmy Butler's been, kick, you know, busting his ass with that team. But then also the Nuggets are a great up and coming team and kind of deserve it too. So, you know, whoever wins, I don't give a shit. Heat and seven. Heat nuggets and seven. And, n- n- nuggets and four. Wow. Can't even give us a gentleman's. Can't even give us a win at home. 
Come on. Jokic is going to just put his dick all over. I will say the first 90 seconds of that game when Aaron Gordon scored like six points, I was like, oh, fuck, this is not going to be a fun night. And I tuned out around the late in the third quarter. And I was like, get the fuck, the, get this shit off my screen. I'm going to go watch the dozen. Nice. That's what I did. Shout out the dozen. Good for you, buddy. Great, great, great tournament. You know, you should watch the dozen. It's trivia. Get you smarter. Nah. You get to learn them. You okay. get to know and bond with a lot of the Barstool personalities. It's probably the best no, thing Barstool okay. does. Definitely, I'm definitely okay. Definitely I'm, okay. I'm just waiting for Mr. X's questions of the week, baby. Well, I think it is about that time. Yay. Since we're done with our in-depth analysis of sports and we get into the fan mail segment, everyone's favorite segment, otherwise known as. Mm. Drop, drop the beat, buddy. Come on. No. Mr. X's questions and of Jay the Rose. week. Bum, bum. Wow, that was just fucking... That was great. That was just... I gotta really keep you on your toes. Felt. I gotta keep you on the toes. Okay, let's go over to the Instagram curveballs and CS. If you guys are not aware, where we got the Johnny Roca threesome. So we got a well, I guess it's a, it's a once again a three and a half sum. So question one is a two parter. What if dun dun the Lakers and Celtics were the participants in this year's finals? Who would have? One well, Johnny, this isn't the make believe world of ESPN that would have loved the Lakers and Celtics to win so they can just fucking suck LeBron's cock and talk about the history and just be like, Oh my god, who's better, Jason Tatum in his prime or Le- AD in his prime? And blah, blah. anyways, Lakers, Celtics, I think the Lakers would or the Celtics would have just mopped the floor with the uh, Lakers. It wouldn't be as bad as what the Nuggets did, but it'd probably be similar. I would go Lakers in six. I, I I think uh you know I think LeBron and AD could have could have made it happen. So I would I would have taken the Lakers. All right. What if it was the Warriors versus the Heat? So my dream playoff scenario, my dream final scenario, as I said, with no Dwayne Wade, I would want the Warriors to win, but I would think the Heat would win this. Now, maybe it's six games, maybe it's seven games, but we have seen the Warriors very inconsistent, very streaky on the road especially. So, and I, I think the the Heat are definitely good enough to stop the Warriors defensively, so I would go with the Heat to win as well. See, and that's where I would, I would take the Warriors in seven. I mean, you saw last year, I mean, it's kind of the same situation. You know, you have a big man with Bam, big man with Robert Williams. They were able to, you know, isolate. You know, Steph was going off. Clay was having decent games. You know, it, I, I would take the Warriors over the Heat. But we saw with the Lakers that if you just plug up the middle and force them to shoot, they can't know, make maybe, every shot. Maybe, maybe they make, you know, maybe they have one or two good games, but they got to have four good games to beat you. And yeah. I'll take those odds. Even if it is Stephen Clay and Jordan Poole, very, very rarely. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll still, I'll, I'll still take the Warriors. Love to see that we still got the TV noise in the background, even though we're back I, Zoom I, calls. I wanted to turn it down, which I did. And when the movie's on, which I don't know, if, I don't know if everyone at home has that same situation. When the when the movie or show's on, it's so quiet. But then it goes to commercial, and it's like fucking blasting. Yeah, almost like they purposely do that so you hear the commercials. It's fucking annoying. Question number two: It's National Donut Day! It's exclamation point! What's your favorite kind of donut? I feel as though we've answered a donut type question before, but your favorite kind of donut? I would say, pause, is like a nice chocolate cream filled donut would be my favorite type, whether it's just a, a circular one, uh, whatever, a longer one that looks like a dong. Give me a nice chocolate glaze with some fucking white cream inside. No pause, no bonks. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Um, I mean, I do like just a normal glazed donut. I mean, I'm, call me basic. I don't give a shit. I just... Fucking basic white bitch. But I will say, um, you know, the donut shop that's up the ha- 
you know, up the street from me, which, you know, you never got to try, which means you got to come back eventually, right? Um, nope. They showed me everything. Do you remember what was inside that donut from the donut shop? No. No? Oh. You know. But yeah, old fashions. If you know what I mean. Gla- original glaze and I have to get something cream filled. <clears throat> I wouldn't do custard. I don't like custard. So it'd have to be like a, you know, some type of like, I don't know. Just can't be custard. I don't like custard. All right. Question number three. Very apropos after what happened this past weekend. Who is your go-to character in Mario Kart? Well, I like to switch it up. Uh, Depends what game we're playing. You know, played some Switch Mario Kart this past weekend. Played the Wii one. Obviously goaded Mario Kart 64. Uh, you know, I don't go for the super basic ones, but, uh, you know, give me a, a Peach. If I'm feeling cheeky. Maybe a, a Donkey Kong. I was also uh, breaking out the Waluigi. Wah! So, give me Waluigi. My my three go to go twos go to go threes <laughs> um would be always a link because I love the Legend of Zelda series. Um no, I haven't got the new game. Um shameful. Uh, backup is baby Bowser or Bowser Jr., whatever you want to call him. Um and my third choice is anyone else because i beat the fuck out of brandon this weekend well first off he breaks this game out friday night when i'm just absolutely fucking plastered thanks to the two baseball bats and he gives me the the little fucking plastic switch side of the you know the switch controller that's like you know the little plastic piece that i've never really touched before i don't have a switch i don't really know how to play it and so, like, I kind of figure out how it works, but it's, like, super tiny in my hands. It's like playing with my little Amazon stick, which, well, look, Dominic, here's the Amazon remote I was looking for. Right here. Found it. Right right in my right in my bedside, right where I left it. But it's just, it's actually probably smaller than this. Oh, anyways. I beat him day two. That's all I care about. At least I beat him once. And then I and then- dog, and then I dog walked him at Mario Party, even though I never played Mario Party before in my life. Yeah, no, I, I, not, not my proudest moment. So, I came Ma- back on on Sunday night though and won. Well, so who also won like ninety percent of the mini games, Dominic? You cheated. I did not cheat. He did. He came. Hey, you should have seen Dominic. Titties. Me and him. It was a two v two, us two against the computer, and it was this little game. It was kind of like a math puzzle type game where we're tied, where each of us are tied to a string, and there's like these little pegs everywhere, and we're supposed to match the certain shape that is going on. And I swear to God, I was going to punch Dominic in the fucking face because he doesn't know shapes and doesn't know how to... <laughs> I know shapes! How to go you, around the certain things to shape when it you properly. guys are yelling at me about the fucking game on Mario Party, and he got, you both started yelling at me. Dominic, well, because all, the, all Dominic had to do was just, like, back up, go back the way he came, and just, like, take a left, and we would have won. But he was doing fucking donuts, like it's a goddamn <laughs> sideshow. And he was just spinning around, and we ended up losing. But you, we were up like two to zero, and we ended up choking it. It's because, yeah, just like the A's. Um, it's just because. Oh, sorry, they don't choke because they don't make it. Yeah, we just um, get blown out. Um, but if you guys, you guys were yelling at me, and I was fucking panicking, and I was trying to, I just started overcorrecting. You know, it's kind of like if you get, you know, if you're spinning out on the freeway you you don't you, you turn into it you don't turn away from it and you guys just kept making me turn into it and i was just or turning away from it whatever. i don't know i was freaking out by I'm the way i saw out. a really fucked up car today on the uh over by the backside of lorenzo manor on my drive to work yeah took me an extra 10 minutes to commute to work oh, and then also i forgot terrible. to say this on wednesday so the day i wasn't even supposed to work i i leave and i guess there was an accident on 880 it took me an hour to get back home some of it is to my own volition because I might have fucked up. I made it try to cut a few corners, take a few turns I shouldn't have. And I tried to go right, 
all the way down the street. I forget what it's called, but you know, over by the airport, you take the left and you go down the industrial way, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. I said, fuck that. I'm going back around. So I literally did an entire lap around the air. I went, drove through the Oakland airport, went all the way back around and said, fuck this. I'm just going to San Leandro Boulevard. So then I go to San Leandro Boulevard and then over at Washington, the Washington overpass, they're doing construction there. So it's usually a two lane street, but they had to make it a one way street. So I said, fuck all you guys. And I merged over and I turned so I can go to Hesperian. And then I finally got home an hour later. <sighs> Terrible. You really hate to see that. At least I had enough gas in my Jeep because if I would have had to get gas during that time, I would have been. Can you imagine if that was the root beer float day? Dominic would have shit his pants. Yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't see a single Jack in the Box anywhere. <laughs> well, is that it for Johnny? That is it for Johnny. If you'd like to be like a Johnny Roca, uh, send it in via Instagram DM, Curveballs and CS, or answer a call to action who that rarely gets actioned, called upon. But uh, yeah, also same handle on the Twitter machine. But let's go over to the Gmail account, Curveball and CS, and check out what Mr. X has to say on the matter. We also have a comment for Mr. X, but we'll save that for later. He says, <clears throat> Hey, Hey, is Brady really done this time? So if those of you don't, don't know, there are rumors, which I want to state that these are just fucking rumors. That well, he's Dominic, gonna... where are these rumors coming from? Your, your mom's ass. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, your mom is a wonderful person. I should not have said that. I apologize. Should I go confirm real quick? No. Okay. What'd you just, what'd you just do? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even. Oh, Dominic, it. look at my, look at my lock screen. Isn't that so beautiful? Oh, where'd you get that photo from? Oh, look at that fucking ugly bastard. Yeah, show, show, put it on the screen again. Studio Ants wants to see. That photo. But you're not looking now. You're not looking. Oh my God. Put it back on the screen. Hold on. Let me just fucking bring the photo up. It makes it he's, easier. He's going to bring the photo up. I don't know. You son of a bitch. Take that off the screen. Take that off the screen. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Son of a bitch. Uh, this. Oh, not, nope, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> not that photo. That's not going to make We're not showing that photo on the internet. Which, can you send that to me? No. Oh. That photo. Oh, that's such a beautiful, beautiful fucking Beautiful picture. photo. Jeff Boffman would be proud of you. Jeff Boffman would absolutely fucking love this photo. She doesn't care. She's not looking. All right. She only cares about oh, these right. photos. Look at these exactly. fucking sexy ass photos. Even though, you know, I I'm not selling on Grinder. I'm not complaining about the photos, but from you know, second, you know, second opinion, uh, maybe we should have making this a little closer because you can't even see me, which is probably a good thing. But you can see my fucking scab. You know what? Hold on. I you know what? I will show the photo that we're not going to show. But I'll show my fucking my scab. Ooh, looks like herpes of the leg. Yep. His scab on his leg that he got from the baseball game. Look at that. Look at that beautiful statue in Idaho. Give women the right to vote. Amen. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what does Mr. X have to say on the matter? Well, is Brady really done this time? Oh, yeah. People we're talking about mom's that. asshole. And then we went on a whole fucking. Um, I would probably say yes. So he is a part owner of the Raiders. Who knows? How much of a part? Which, which if you're, but a part also owner, we didn't we didn't talk play. about. I forget if this happened last week or in between the whole saga that's going on with Jimmy G's foot right now, where he didn't pass a yeah. physical, but he signed anyways, and now he might not pass another physical. So then maybe the Raiders just void the entire contract. So we we kind of made the jokes that oh Jimmy G's going to get hurt during the season. We're only going to get like four games out of him, but we thought we'd at least get one game out of him. Well, it looks like we're not going to get anything. And fucking some rookie quarterback is going to be the fucking starting quarterback for the fucking Las Vegas Raiders. But, you know, weirder things have happened. Maybe, you know, maybe this maybe it does go this He's way. He's the Brock and, Purdy know. of 2023. Exactly. You know, leads the Raiders to the playoffs and, you know, maybe get all the way to like the, you know, championship game or something, you know. And, and then he blows his elbow and, out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Anyways. Apparently Dominic <clears> loves <throat> my Waluigi impersonation. Probably. Yeah. Are Probably. the Nuggets 
Shut the fuck up, you son of a fucking beautiful man. Are the Nuggets the odds on dog? favorite to win the title? Yes. Uh, literally, they are the odds on favorite. I don't know what they stand at right now after game one, but I would assume they're pretty high. Mr. X, Nuggets and four. Just, just No, just, no, just no, no. It. Heat heat and seven. Heat and seven. They're they're gonna drop they're gonna I'm gonna tell you right now, they're gonna drop game two, but it's gonna be a closer game. And they're gonna go back to Miami, defend home court, nuggets take game five, heat take game six, game seven. Right. They, it's gonna be everyone defends home court until game seven. It, watch, this is what's gonna happen. Every, every home team's gonna win, and then Jimmy Buckets comes on, turns on game seven. Well, you're wrong, but okay. Um, the Stanley Cup Finals are here. The Vegas Golden Knights will face off with the Florida Panthers. Game one begins Saturday. I feel the favorites to win are the Panthers because of the way they have played these playoffs. Vegas, though, with the expectation of last season, have been a fixture in the playoff picture since their inception. Brandon, who What's do you have? I was going to say, is this just directed at me, or did he just say... He never directs you... questions just to you because he knows that you a punk bitch. That's a fact. He's told yeah. me personally, he's like, hey, that Brandon guy's a punk bitch. I'm like, oh, hey. It's okay to say that, but, you know, you got to let me say it. Bless you. You sneezed. I didn't hear it, but I saw it. That's because I muted it because I'm trying to be a good person on this podcast, Dominic. Sorry. But well, anyways, you got? I'm... Well, I'm I'll trying go... to go. I'll go I'm with the biggest go. Golden Knights because they are... Las Vegas, and that seems like a really cool city to play a sport in. My fucking Vegas can suck my left nut cheek. <laughs> what? What? Well, What's I'm trying to. Cheek? I don't know. I'm trying to pull up the odds here on the on the on the website that I don't frequently I don't frequent because you know I signed a contract with the Oakland Athletics stating that I'm not going to bet on any illegal sports books. But here we go. This okay. This is what I want to say. I just wanted to see what the series prices were. But so the Vegas Golden Knights are a slight favorite at minus one twenty five to win the series, while the Panthers are at a plus one hundred five, which is kind of what I see it at. I see the Knights as a slight favorite, not an overwhelming favorite like the Nuggets are. But I do like the Panthers, as I keep saying. You just need a hot goalie, and that's exactly what the Panthers are have right now. The Knights absolutely fucking dick down the uh, Dallas Stars in game six almost choked it, but they held strong in game six. So just uh, firing shots. I forget what the final score was, but they definitely put a shellacking on those uh, Dallas Stars. Um, give me the Panthers because fuck the Golden Knights because fuck Vegas. And also we are Sharks fans still. And the Sharks hate the Golden Baby Knights. Baby Shark, 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 Baby Shark. I mean, we're, I mean we're, we're, we're a Barracuda podcast, but we're still Sharks fans. Exactly. All right. You know, Dominic, you know, we're not not to scoff at you being a Kraken fan now. Dominic I'm a, a Indi- I'm a, I'm a Spokane a Chiefs fan. Chiefs fan, yeah. Anyways, when in doubt, just put gold foil on a new uni- undisputed universal championship. It's like they had enough money for a new title design and spent most of it on the World Heavyweight Championship. With the 10 bucks that they had left, they fancied up Roman's belt. Well, that uh, gets rid of Mr. X's comment because he said the same thing on the Instagram when uh, we posted the photo of the new WWE Universal Championship. So we got the uh, the title belt. There it is right there. And all of its glory is pretty much just the WWE and Universal Championship with the gold backing. It's all black on the strap. So I would presume this kind of, I mean, it does continue the WWE lineage. Now yeah. the universal title just gets folded into that. Yeah. I don't know how exactly that works out, but uh, terrible. It's still the WWE championship. I mean, I agree with Mr. X. Like it's just the same title they've always had, but then you just put gold on the back of it. And I don't know if it would have been better if they had like a gold strap and a black back. Um, I would also, I would have just loved if they just redesigned it a tad bit. I don't know eh. what that would have been because at this point, WWE and wrestling kind of in general, the main top titles center around the logo and you can't center around the logo more than what the WWE championships are. I mean, no one's bigger than the company though. Amen. So. 
Um, also, Dominic, have you uh, have you kept up on any of the uh, bloodlines happenings that have happened today? A little bit. Roman gets a new title. Roman turns on Jimmy. Jimmy gets spiked by Solo, and uh, Jay is still conflicted. So, this is cinema. The hell with Money in the Bank for the women's title. Just give me Io and Oscar now. Isn't that what we've you've been saying? I've been saying it. You know, I think we've all been saying that. You know. We all, just all three want... of us, smart wrestling minds. Yep. I mean, some smarter than others, but, you know. Mr. Dominic. X is smartest. Brandon's yes. smart. I'm just, okay. Dominic's just there. I have my moments. Um, and last but not least, this might be a really, you know, good question. All of Who... Mr. X's questions are good. Sorry, yes. This might be the best. There we go. Who is the bigger heat magnet right now? Don Callis or Dominic Mysterio. Right now, I'd probably say Dominic Mysterio, just because we've seen it over a long, pure, longer period of time. Don Callis is a better performer in his role. I would say, you know, he's a better talker, better manager. You know, whatever. Don Callis is better at what he does. What Dominic Mysterio does at what he does. But right now. Dominic is just getting a bunch of heat for a long weeks, for a bunch of weeks, a bunch of months. And Don Callis got that really good reaction week one. I do kind of wonder how much of that was just the crowd playing up because they cut to a lot of crowd shots and the crowd was just kind of very over the top cartoonish about it. But it was still a good sign. And I do hope that they put Don Callis with some other people. I'm not saying like Takesh is terrible and he should cut bait with them, but I just feel as though Don Callis could. You know, do a lot of good as a heel manager, care, you know, talking for and managing other guys who don't talk that much like a powerhouse Hobbs or a, not a big bill. But, you know, so, so insert whatever heel you want. I think Don Callis can get a lot out of them. Well, I mean, I feel like because Dominic is a wrestler, he, you know, he can be thrown into matches. He can take bumps. He can do other things. I think Don Callis... You know, I agree. Probably a better performer, as in you can get, you know, use your words. Dominic literally just walks in the room and it's fuck this guy. So he, I mean, he gets heat because he's in kayfabe banging Rhea Ripley. In kayfabe. Maybe in real life. Who knows? Ah, maybe, maybe, maybe he is cucking, buddy. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you know, that is it for Mr. X's questions. If you want to be like Mr. X, curveball, ncs at gmail.com. If you want to be like Johnny, curveballs, ncs on Instagram, or like no one ever in their fucking life, Twitter, curveballs, ncs. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, let's, let's quickly go over uh, the wrestling so I can go to bed. I try to send things to the curveballs ncs uh, Twitter account. I'm yeah, let's talk, I don't. I don't think we should talk about what uh, I sent to the Curveballs and Shots Twitter account. But anyways, uh, yeah, let's let's go through the to the wrestling uh, real quick. Um, Dominic, uh, your thoughts on a double or nothing? You know, if you would like to listen to the other podcast, if you want my full, you know, more in depth analysis, you can listen to that if you want. But uh, Dominic, what did you think of double or nothing? I'm just sitting as I was just sitting on the couch for almost four hours, just guzzling Miller Light after Miller Light. I mean. If I had to give you a review, like a one to five stars, you know, I'd probably give it like a solid three and a half, maybe three and three quarters, just because, uh, you know, it was it was a little, you know, at points a little stale, um, you know, disappointed in the women's match, um, you know. The 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 backstage stuff with Jericho, stupid. Um, you know, the main event, great. The pillars match, I think was pretty good. Everything else though seemed a little far fetched, not very well done. So I'll give like three, three I'll give like three and a half, three and three quarters. Um, definitely not the best double or nothing they could have improved, but I think the main event saved it for them. So, yeah. Agreed. I probably would say this was on the lower end, maybe even the worst AEW pay-per-view they've done. And that's not a bad thing because pretty much every AEW pay-per-view has been good. 
but uh, I agree. Everything up to those last two matches wasn't that great, but I really enjoyed the Pillars match. Uh, kind of a, a, a four-way spot fest that told some good stories throughout, but at the end of the day, you knew MJF was going to win. And then the anarch- anarchy in the arena was uh, fun, just a fun brawl, a lot of spots, a lot of blood gore, and a little bit of blackface. So, alleged blackface. Which is which is not fun. It's very not, bad. Not fun. Yes, we and, stand against blackface. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Whether intentional or not, we stand against racism, intentional or not. And also, uh, even though we're like an hour and a half into this podcast, Happy Pride Month, everybody! I was just about to say Happy Pride Month, but you took it from me. Yeah, yeah, right. Because I am an ally. It's Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. Was Studio Audience like to uh, comment on Pride Month? No, I mean, she says Happy Pride Month too, right? She said yes. Yes, she, she, a... she's she's busy doing something, so she can't. Uh, she can't maybe, comment. You know what? Matter. Maybe we. Uh, it is June second. Uh, God, we are sorry, everybody, that we're so long. We haven't done this yet, but I think for Pride Month, for the betterment of everybody, um, we need to change our profile pictures. Curveballs and chair shots. That is. I will. I will get back. I will get in the lab, and we will change our profile pictures by the time you listen to this podcast. We done yet? To represent that we are allies. Are we done? Uh, no, because we got to quickly go through AW Dynamite. Uh, ah. We got the BCC defeating the Lucha Bros and Bandino. Dominic, uh, can, can the studio audience remind us who Bandito was uh, cosplaying? Uh, studio audience, Bandito, the luchador wrestler. He was cosplaying as somebody, and, and he Dominic, said that. You're, you're not going to explain who? No. I, I'm confused. You don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about? No. Wow. Way to watch the product, Dominic. You said, like, like if I explain it to her, you, you... Well, I thought you would at least know what the fuck I was talking about. Apparently, there's a guy that dressed up as something. Who the fuck is that guy? Oh, who's this guy? Can you... Dapulin? Not a wrestler. Yeah, no, but the guy, a wrestler dressed up as him. Cosplayed as him and wrestled on Wednesday. There you go. Yeah, I know. Who's the other That's guy? that guy that wrestled that cosplay does him. So what does that guy do, Mary? He's just a funny, funny actor. He a funny Mexican guy. I forgot the show. It's a yeah. Must be a great show. Well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. Good. Show, actually. Good, good Christian show. No, no, Mexican. Oh, Mexican. Yeah. Mm. yeah. All right, we done now. Anyways, BCC get nope. the win. Good for them. Uh, all right, you know what, Dominic? Fine. I guess we're done because Dominic. No, it's fine because he doesn't watch the goddamn product. He just wants to go to it's fine. sleep. It's fine. No, it's not it's fine. fine. No, it's even fine. though you're wearing an AEW shirt right now, so you shouldn't. You should have watched the show. And at first, you know, when I didn't go to your house, yes. I just thought, oh, you guys are cable cutters. You don't have any sort of, you know, cable whatsoever, any which way to realistically watch AEW, watch any type of wrestling on TV. But no, that's not the case. You got cable. You got in one internet. room that I have access no. to. You don't got a DVR? No. How do you not have a DVR? It's 2023, Dominic. My dad doesn't pay for that. You have to pay for that. With it Comcast. should just be included. It's 2023. And nope, you have to pay for it. You know what? That's why Xfinity fucking sucks dick, and you should just get DirecTV. Well, you or know. buy YouTube TV. Thought about it, but it's, you know, it's more money that I have to pay for. And you know, we don't watch a lot of TV anyways because it's mostly come home, go go to sleep. So Brandon is just it's Brandon go is, home, go to sleep. Brandon is spoiled. In California, he has all this internet, fabulous internet. He has a fabulous AT&T, TV plan. Eight AT and T fiber. Yeah, AT and T fiber. That was laid down by Dominic's coworkers. Direct, direct TV, which you know he, you know he, he's just just rolling in all these amenities that I don't have access to anymore. And it just but you have it. a Roku, but you have a Roku device now. You're I have a Roku welcome. Now. You're fucking welcome, Dominic. One might say my best friend bought it for me. Yes, definitely for you. Yes. And that when Tyler comes to visit, he has to bring me a gift of equal or more value. Then twenty nine ninety nine. Yes. 
uh, uh, CM Punk Dominic is officially going to be at Collision's Ooh. debut June 17th. Ooh, fuck that guy. I wow, invited him. So salty. Honestly, I really don't care, but it's just it's one of those things where it's, you know, are are the fans really going to so-called, I'm not going to say forgive him, but are they really going to be happy that he's there? I mean, in Chicago, they'll be happy. I mean, Chicago, yeah, but I mean, like, you know, you go to the where the elite are from, I don't I don't see them cheering. They're going to be uh, in California anytime soon? In uh, Rancho Cucamonga? Rancho Cucamonga? They're going to go to Winnipeg or Calgary or wherever from Kenny's from? Mm. They're going to go to Texas or wherever fucking Hangman's from? I'm pretty sure he's from Virginia. Whatever. Whatever. He's a cowboy. There's no cowboys in Virginia. How do you know? You've been to Virginia? Yeah, I have. When? In uh, 1992. When I was just floating around in my dad's sack. Anyways, we'll just mercifully kill this podcast right now. This episode, we're not going to kill the podcast yet. But uh, that'll do it for us for today. That's it? Or tonight. Unless, Dominic, you want to just keep talking. No, nah. they might just go to sleep. Okay. Oh, is that how? Is that how we're gonna end the podcast now, studio? That's all, folks. For sure, that's taken. Can't that's, that's gimmick infringement. You can't do that. Oh, yeah, we don't take anybody else's gimmicks when we do our closing yeah. goodbyes. She's choking on monkey nuts. You know, monkey nuts. you know what monkey nuts are? No. Kiwis. Oh. Same kiwis that I was munched on last week. Yeah, yeah. You I bet you, those, I bet you those muffins and croissants are gone. No, they're still here. There's the croissants. Uh, the croissants are still there. Three chocolate muffins. How many croissants are left? Shit ton. A shit ton of croissants are left. I'm pretty sure they're not a shit ton of croissants are left because when I left, there was only a few left. It's hang on. One, two, three, four, four to five, something like that. Dominic cannot count to five. Well, there's paper Different. on it. And I can't reach it, so. Yeah, Dominic cannot count to five. Can you count to five for the podcast, Dominic? Uh, one, two, skip a few, 99, 100. Does that count? All right. If you like to participate in this podcast, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, Curveballs and CS. And if you like to email us, be like Mr. X, Curveball and CS at gmo.com. For Dominic Hobson, the studio audience, we didn't see the mascot. Where's the mascot? Is is he still in his depressive yeah. state? He's right there. He's 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 being bad because he has an owie because Brandon jerked him off too hard. Now he has an owie on his thigh, and so well, we have to keep putting the cone of, cone of shame on him. Damn, so. I am sorry about that mascot. I should yeah. not have. I did not jerk him off. It was just at an awkward angle. I mean, I, pe- I, I mean, you're you're dumb. fucking over here, fucking putting shit on the web about. You know, I was giving him belly rubs. And maybe, you know, as a male dog does, a I uh, mean, the genitalia may be a little close to – see, that is not that, – that, that's nothing. Oh, hang Dominic. on. Oh, ah. that, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah. All right, so until next time, that's been Dominic. Wow, what a Tanguma. And for everyone else – Brandon's a fucking bitch. Next week, goodbye and good night. Uh, uh, ba-bang.